Okay, 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 okay. Whew, it's another day. Um, I changed my Traveler to the Geo version, finally. So I can use that character. Um, but today we're going to be doing... Mona's story quest. Whatever I'm supposed to do in this quest. Navigate. Oh, I still took damage. Astrology and the 50 year old pack. Okay, leave Lee away. Oh, I was supposed to start this in Lee away? Okay. Um. Let's go to Lee away then. Oh. It's right at the teleport free point outside of Lee away. Okay, okay. I wonder what we'll get. Uh, I hope we get to play as Mona in her story quest. That would be very nice. Hmm. And then I can finally water run for the first time in forever. Bro, I've, it's so annoying to see other people water running, and I just can't, and I'm just sad about it. Okay, let's go. Oh, there she is. Oh. Finally. I almost fell asleep. That can't working. possibly be comfortable. As usual, my predictions are correct. Okay. I'm a master of true astrology. Okay. If you've no other questions, let's be off. <sighs> Fine. I'll I mean, I know you're Mona. I thought I did a quest with Mona I before, but I don't remember. Mona Magistus, but considering that it is most rude to misremember names, I allow others to call me Mona. I am on a mission from my master to retrieve a certain box from Mondstadt. It was part of an agreement she made with a friend 50 years ago. But she isn't as spry as she used to be, so now it's up to me. Hmm. Not sure what getting some box back has to do with us. Why do you need us to come along? Well, that's because I would also like to take on the guardian of the box. My master and her friend contended in the mystic arts all their lives without a clear victor. If I triumph here, then I will show myself to be superior to my master. What are you talking about? The main thing here is to use this chance to prove the power and stuff. I'm sorry, this is like actual story that I haven't now, heard before. I'm, I'm paying attention. <laughs> has left Mondstadt, leaving her successor as the current guardian of that bot. Like me, that successor must also be one who has surpassed their teacher. I must not be careless, but I would prefer to assure my victory in this contest. And upon giving it some thought, you came to mind. How did you even pass down to me from my master must be passed on in turn? Okay. If I were to bring my disciple to meet her, then the lead is already mine. But and you are my You just met me. Hero, my equal in status. So What if I straight up refuse? Oh Come no. On. You don't actually have to become my disciple. You just need to act the Then you'd be lying. There's something in it for you as well. Once I meet that successor and have a chance to exchange knowledge with them, I should be able to read your fate more accurately. Then I will have answers for you, even regarding such distant and foggy matters. Ooh, as we get to find our sister again, maybe? It's faster than searching the land country by country. <laughs> I mean, we're still gonna have to search land by country by country because said, I would like content. To place of visit before we go. There is a small inn near Mount Tianhong that never sees a lot of business, even though its food is always great value for the money. The owner has always been good to okay. me, so I'd like to say a farewell before I set off. Can I menu there? I can. I can and I will. I will and I can. <laughs> if I can teleport anywhere, I'll always teleport it there, because 
even if it is like right there, it doesn't really matter. Hmm. I'll accompany Mona to say farewell to Mr. Zhu. <laughs> I wonder if Mr. Jew's like an old man or like a middle-aged NPC. He looks like a middle-aged NPC. Zhu. Yeah, middle-aged NPC. Well, it's no wonder that an insect up here has no business. Mona, you've come at just the right time. A jade ring. Can't say I have. Oh, that's not good. The ring was given to me by my mother. Oh, wow. My back was turned, it was swallowed up by a slime. Mm, that should be no trouble with Mona here. She's really good at astrology. Absolutely not. Astrology is meant to be used to gain insight into reality and observe destiny itself. It's certainly not for such mundane affairs. But didn't you say that the owner here has been good to you? This is a matter of pride and one state of mind. If an astrologist thinks that their arts can solve all problems, they will be forsaken by the starry ether. Mona, that's just a ton of bull. Their divinations will lose the power to guide and will not be able to pierce the fog of the unknown before them. Principles are principles. Such a powerful ability, and you don't use it to earn a living? What a shame. Oh, hmm. Well, I was going to put up 20,000 mora as compensation, if you were willing. Uh, 20,000? Oh, uh, it's nothing. I, I was just thinking that the person who finds that ring must be lucky indeed to be able to earn 20,000 mora just like that. <clears throat> yes, of course. Still, the owner's business has had it pretty hard. It must be a truly extraordinary ring to be worth spending this oh. much more to find. Hmm. It wouldn't be right for us to leave like this, so let's help to search for it. Goodness gracious, Mona. Any other means we can employ besides astrology. Oh, Paimon knows where this is going. I know. I'll leave this one to you. This is the first Oh my gosh, bro. I got another fetch quest. Always will with you, Paimon. You already have a plan. Yep, we'll be back in a jiffy. <sighs> the elemental bee is really strong. It will attract all the slimes in the area. Even if they're just slimes, they can be dangerous together, so we best prepare ourselves. I, I, I. Let me switch out traveler then. Um. Noel, instead of traveler. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I will protect you. And then since it's raining, Chong, you know be good. Oh, I came from up here. Okay. Swift and merciful. Cool. Rack and ruin. Cool. Yeah, it's not doing as much damage as I had expected it to. I might as well just use Eula when I do that Chong. Ooh. Oh yeah, Yula's doing damage. Oh my god. Why aren't you melting? Or freezing, I guess. Oh, he's dead. Oh! Oh. Characters that are actually frozen. Oh, let's see. That's why I do this here. Oh, I completely forgot about Noel. <laughs> Noel's my main healer right now. I'm not even lighting. I don't use any other character to heal. Oh, I can't. I have to use Yuzu. How am I getting. Oh, it's raining. Ha. Ah. Ha, ah, that frozen air is so annoying over there. Alright, bro. Alright, now you're dead. Cool. Freeze to the core. I need to get good artifacts for Chung Yin. Found it. It's so pretty. Uh, 
Paimon was definitely having bad thoughts. It's Paimon. Alright, Noel wasn't that helpful, so I'm gonna just keep, um, uh, Traveler. I mean, it is baby girl Noel, but, like, still I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just keep Traveler for now. That's it. That's the one. Oh, I thought it was lost forever. You actually found it. Not bad. Mr. Zhu, you must take care of such precious things a bit better. You might not be so fortunate next time. You're absolutely right. How would I have faced my family if I had lost the 253rd ring my mother gave me? Dot, 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 dot. That's a lot of... That's too triple. Let me explain. My family owns three jade mines, and in order to ensure that I would be able okay. to find myself a good wife, my mother had many jade accessories made as heirlooms. I think there might be over 500 of them. Then why would you feel the need to set up an inn? 500? Well, inheriting the family business too early unavoidably made things boring. Thank you, all the same. Here's the mora, as agreed. Please take it. Then? Then I'll take it, gladly. Even Paimon wasn't that fast. Look, we did all the work! A disciple should act like one. How can they steal their master's thunder? You still are thunder! Okay, exactly. sure. Well, you need to start practicing now. Hi, Maeve. If my rival is as smart as I think they are, they will figure you out in a heartbeat. I, you're hungry. Uh, what was that rumbling sound? Oh, right. You mustn't have eaten in days. I'm very sorry. I forgot that you have no... Ah, uh, sh <laughs> That didn't happen. Forget it. Okay. Well, I suddenly feel that you have indeed contributed to our good fortune. I say we spend this money on treating you to a fine meal. If we travel north, we'll reach the Wongshu Inn. I hear the food there is... No need to thank me. I'm just doing as a good master should. Did she say she was treating us? Is Paimon hearing things? Hmm. I think I'd hear her say this. She's such a good person. <laughs> Let's have ourselves a great meal. Okay. Wang Shu In. That is a hike and a half. Goodness. <sighs> nice. Alright, cool. Didn't take that long to load this time. Alright, we gotta go lower. There's a quest in here somewhere. I might as well go inside and get it real quick. At least I think the quest is inside here. Yep, there it is. I'm gonna get this quest and then we'll progress with the story. Okay. <sighs> Candied silk flower? Okay. Sit by the table. That's it? That's all I have to do? I'm gonna do this quest first then. <laughs> Oh, uh, let me accept this quest too. Uh, yada yada, I don't care, I don't care. Yep, I'll do it, yay. Yeah, whatever, I don't care. Oh shoot, I have to get up. I have to get back up there. Okay. Mona, Mona. Hello, Mona. Since it's Mona's treat, we can order whatever we want, right? Of course. I am a most generous master, after all. But only if you can finish it all. Wasting food simply will not do. Whew. Excuse me.
Excuse me, what would you like to order? A number two, a number five, a number that's <laughs> no okay. Um This sounds like it costs a lot. Though tofu could not be a more ordinary ingredient, it and crab roe are These are made using large succulent shrimp wrapped in crispy fried potatoes. They have an amazing texture. This is a favorite among our regulars. Ooh. Shoots, meat and ham are oh, that sounds actually that actually sounds really good. I'm picking that one. Spoonfuls into each bowl of rice you eat. Mm, you'll never get enough of it. Oh, that sounds amazing. It's exactly what it says. On I don't care. It's vegetarian. Uh, all of them. We only have three. No, two and a half people? Isn't that too much food? Two and a half That's people? How you count it. Besides, Paimon hasn't even heard it yet. <laughs> Squirrelfish, do you chili chicken and jelly soup, please? Sure. And is there anything else you'd like to order, ma'am? I. I just like to ask how much do the current dishes cost in total? Um. Around 20,000 mora. Goodness gracious. Uh, I'll just have some vegetarian noodles, please. All right. A bowl of vegetarian noodles, was it? Please wait a moment. We'll serve you shortly. Yeah, she looks so sad. Oh my god. Paimon's been thinking about something, is it? Because she actually doesn't have money? I heard that. I said I was treating. How could I be rattled by something as mundane as Mora? An astrologist's mind is set on studying the stars. Being so easily disturbed by such banal matters would hamper my judgment. Especially <laughs> the act of overly gratifying oneself using Mora. It is both vulgar and dangerous. Oh, she's so sad. So, eating the dishes we ordered is also part of an astrologist's pride? But it feels kind of bad that only we got to feast. We're gonna make something for her. You don't use more to fulfill your desires, so it's fine as long as you're not buying anything, right? Let's go borrow the kitchen from the innkeeper. Bro, I'm not walking up all those stairs. You got me messed up, bro. <laughs> Plus, the teleport time doesn't take very long to go up there, anyways. That was definitely worth it, honestly. Hello, in Kipper. How may I help? We'd like to borrow the kitchen here. Ah, I see. If I may add one more thing. Of course. <laughs> Talented indeed. From your clothes, you're most likely not. I have a recipe for golden crab. It's crab meat that's been rolled in flour, deep fried, and then pan fried. Well, whoa! Wow. If this game does not keep on telling me about how good this food sounds. Gold. Golden crab. Oh my gosh. <laughs> then let's get to it. What do you mean, let's, Paimon? You're not doing nothing. With your skills in the kitchen, this will be a cinch. Okay, okay, sure. Sure, let's make this golden crab. Why not? Why not? Normal or delicious? There's a difference. Oh, that's golden shrimp. I was like, what? There's a difference? I was looking for the other golden crab. Okay. Any of these characters? Zinyan. Uh, oh, they have the bait the same thing. But Noel, baby girl, so let's pick her. Oop. Perfect. Hey, I got a duck. Uh, the second one. Alright. Well, I can give it to Mona. Ah, so I made the delicious one instead of the normal. I guess the normal one would be if um I messed up. I guess. I think that would make sense. Hi Mona. Ow. There's no need to spend all that effort on me. I'm not in dire need. Stomach growls. I am a little hungry. Golden crab delicious golden crab. Here you go. Treat you like a queen. Aroma is wow! It's incredible. 
Fine. Since my disciple has put in so much time and effort, I must, with great difficulty, accept. Mm. This golden crab is too delicious. I have never eaten. Now you'll come to my team, right, Mona? Uh, I mean, right, Mona? I never knew that my I see you, you'll be on my team, Mona. If I if I summon on the permanent banner, bro, you you're gonna be on my team now. I suppose it wasn't too much to spend all this more on. Ah, it's nothing, nothing at all. Now that we've eaten and drank our fill, we should be off. If we travel north from here, we should reach the stone gate. Mm -hmm. From there, we will be within the boundaries of Monster. Okay. What deep mystery shall we acquire? Bro, you can teleport though. Can't we just like? Oh wait, it would be a mundane task, wouldn't it? Mona. Okay. <sighs> hmm. Okay. Bro, one day closer to getting that Mona cake. Yes, sir. Where is she at? That was tiring, but we're finally in Mondstadt. Okay. To plumb the wondrous depths of knowledge is indeed arduous. Hi, Mon's not tired. You can fly. Yeah. Well, it doesn't look like an astrologist is all that amazing either. That's because you have too many unrealistic fantasies about astrology. Are you also resting your feet here? Who are you? Oh, my brothers and I are all merchants. We just finished doing business in hmm. Leo, and we're preparing to head back to Mondstadt. You look rather tired. The cart we hired will be coming in a while. What's no need, no need. We're already heading that way anyway. There's no need. Now, shoo, get out of our way. <laughs> Miss, is there something wrong? Cease your pretensions, bandit. Ah. Picking up people on the road who appear vulnerable, robbing them blind once they've gotten on the cart, and then taking them to some Archon forsaken place. Is that your deal? What do you say? Wow. We came over here to make conversation, and this is how we're rewarded. She's exposing them, and huh? If you don't want to get on, don't. Crazy girl. Well then, shall I tell you now which objects you have on you that are stolen? If you have any quibbles, we can bring people to corroborate what I've said and all will come to light. If I lose, I'll pay you 20,000 mora. But if I win, then you'll be eating prison rations in Liyue Harbor tonight. How about it? If you're a real legitimate businessman, there's nothing to fear. Well, this game's gonna be getting irrationally mad. You've pushed it too far, brat. Yep, what I said. I don't know how you found out, but as long as we get rid of you, no one will have to know. Bro, we might as well que treat Mona like a queen today. Might Don't as well. Fret. It's just a few bandits. You said earlier that there was nothing amazing about astrologists. Well then. Oh, so do we get to play as her here, or is it gonna be an animation? Ah, yeah, I get to play as her. What did that do? I don't know what that does. Oh my gosh, I need Mona for the freeze. Okay, uh, so I get to run in water. That's cool, because I can kind of like disappear and stuff. Ow. Freeze to the core. Oh, that was I for nice. That's cool. that's actually pretty nice. All right, let me do Chongyun's uh, swift and merciful. Oh, I have to press the five button. Freeze. Nah, you frozen again. Yeah, yeah. How you don't like that, huh? I feel like that'd be good for a team comp. I just need to set it up quickly. This is why I need Mona. Now you're dead. Now your family going. Alright, so I need... I'd need Mona... 
and Chong Yun on the same team. Maybe D Luke for a melt effect. What did you think? Did that satisfy your expectations? <laughs> Such things are elementary for an astrologer. Oh, yeah, I didn't really use your combat abilities. You look like you're more for setup, and honestly, that's pretty worth it. Destiny and truth are written in the stars. Though it may take more time to garner the specifics, I can read the gist of a situation at a glance. Wow. But you did hit some bumps in the road. That's because Tivat's stars can only display the fates and truths of this world. Anything related to you becomes like a fog that even oh, I can wow. penetrate. That is why I must meet that successor. With our knowledge combined, I might be able to gain new insight. Into yeah, I'm not going to get my hopes up because, like, they've been blue balling me and my sister for, like, the entire game. Whatever the case, you've got everything. All right, I'm rested. Let's get this journey to Mondstadt over with. <sighs> if only we had okay. a cart. I thought you weren't tired. <sighs> Time to go to Mondstadt. Imagine a poor soul who didn't know how to menu and they just like walked the entire time. Hmm. More speed. More speed. I wonder what my ult does. I never actually tested out the ult. Hey, yo, Timmy's birds look like a great test subject, not gonna lie. Uh, ah, uh, right, the story. Are you ready? Don't shame your master now. I guess. Wait, no. It won't do if you have no idea at all, even if you are. We have a rule that forbids us from teaching outsiders, but I suppose... I suppose I could teach Thank you, you Mona. My astrology is based on hydromancy, and as the name suggests, I use the reflections in water bodies to observe the true starry sky. Okay. Allow me to demonstrate. Watch closely now. From the present station and movement of the stars, I see... So that successor is a young female knight, knight of Favonius. Okay. Doesn't that sound like Lisa? Lisa would Meet fit it. Her here presently. Well, that's all the information we need. It seems that even basic astrology can't be grasped in one go. Never mind, I'll explain in detail later. She's here. Wow, it's you, Mr. Honorary Knight. It's clear. That's her, the successor to great knowledge. I'm not gonna say there's been some kind of mistake. It's clearly pretty like successor? strong, bro. That's right. I am the astrologist who has plumbed the depths of the ocean of stars. Surely you have long calculated my arrival as well. An ocean of stars? What's that? Does it have fish? We're gonna go fish blasting fish. in it. No, don't play dumb. Is this some kind of game? Bro, you're talking to a literal child, bro. I'm saying that. I didn't get what you said at all. But my predictions can't be mistaken. Well, let's make sure. Your mother's name is Alice. Ah! Uh, that's right. You see Alice, oh, Alice so the sorcerer. Okay. But she's going very far away. Hmm. My readings told me as much. But before she left, she must have imparted her mystical arts to you, surely. Mm. Mystical arts? I don't get it. Mommy only taught me to make jumpy dumpties. So Glee's mother is the friend and rival of Mona's teacher? Hmm. Yes. As well versed in astrology as she was, my master knew only astrology. Alice, on the other hand, was skilled in a great many other mystical fields. Well, Glee's so young. So even if she'd heard this deep knowledge, she might not have understood. Yes. It seems she has inherited the blood, but not the knowledge. What a miscalculation. There can be no contest like this. Ah, uh, yes. So before Alice left, did she tell you about a 50-year agreement and about a certain box? Oh, I know this one. So you're here for that box. I'll look right here. A box? Not this one. Oh, right, the box she was talking about. Klee mm -hmm. has a book of stuff in it? Okay. I remember now. I buried it together with my 
new treasure at once. Wait for me. I'll be right back. Okay, Clee. Clee, don't just run off. Don't you need the things? I'll help her pack these things back in. You go after her. <sighs> Looking at how rash she is, I worry for the box. Hmm. Terra smash. I didn't mean to press that button. Okay, where's Clee at? Oh, she's at Windrise. Hi guys, time to teleport. Ah ha ha. <sighs> okay. Clee, come back. Oh no. What did you do, Klee? I'm ready to kill something for you, Klee. We're here! This is it! Let's dig it up! It can't be! I put a sign here! There's no mistake! Ah! Dendro Slimes! Bruh. Yep, Dendro Slimes. <laughs> Actually, I want to see what Traveler does. What does this do? What did, what did that do? What does this do? Man, I don't I don't know what this character does, bro. No, do you just set everything on fire on it? Yeah, I'm gonna just be straight up honest. You just just burn everything, bro. Oh wait, I can get that melt effect. Or can I? Oh yeah, I can. There we go. Found it. It's this box. <sighs> Glad it wasn't damaged in the explosions. Retrieval complete. Let's bring it back. Okay. Back to Mona. <laughs> Hi, Mona. What are you doing? You're back at last. I had intended to read a book to pass the time, but this one was just some ridiculous diary. Nothing of note in it at all. Bruh. It dropped from Clee's backpack, so I thought it might contain some ancient knowledge, but... Never mind that. We did. It's in perfect shape. That's okay. wonderful. Wait a moment. Why isn't it locked? And why is it empty? Oh no. Well, it's because I borrowed this box to store my treasures. Borrowed? But since you're here for the box, I took all my treasures out. That's why it's empty. Goodness you gracious. You used it to store your things? Then where are the original contents of the box? That's what I want. Oh, you want the thing that used to be in the box? You should have said so. You haven't broken it, have you? No, it's not broken at all. <sighs> It's the book in your hand. Oh my gosh, didn't she say that was like a... Useless? So this book, this diary, is that hag's... It's her diary from 50 years ago? The thing she wanted back after 50 years was the dark history of her youth? Huh. I'm finished. No wonder... No wonder that old woman said I should not look at it no matter what or she'd rip me to shreds. Am, am I a trouble? No, please. <laughs> You said you wanted the box. It's fine, Clee. I don't know anything. I'm leaving. Bye. Bye, Clee. Um, well, if you don't say anything, your master won't find out, will she? Impossible. Astrology can see through all lies. You've seen it yourself. <laughs> After having... That's so sad. Maybe you could forget everything in that book and then go back. That's... Oh, too difficult. And even if I wanted to stay in Mondstadt, it would be... Too expensive. <laughs> no, 
You really have no Haha, <laughs> you're broke. Well, then you'll just have to go back and face your master. S stop talking about it. I I guess I'll have to I'll just have to stay in Mondstadt temporarily. Once that old crone's reached the end of her days, I'll be free. Um But what will I do about my astrology research? No, wait. I don't even have a place to stay. Oh, that. We can go ask Catherine at the Adventurers Guild. Let's see if she can help. The Adventurers Guild? Ah, oh, right. You can go. Oh, um, thanks. I Never mind. It's nothing. Okay, speak to Catherine and help Mona find a place to stay. Oh wait, um, I feel like I'm gonna mess it up. Terra smash! I'm gonna try this. Please work. Yeah. Oh, it didn't go far enough. Darn it, man! Now I don't get to get my birds. Oh, I didn't reach. Okay. Oh, let's move on. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Welcome to the Adventurers Guild. Okay. I see. I understand the situation. There is a magic laboratory in Mondstadt that has been oh. sealed by some unknown person. Although we have a few specialists who could break the seal, they all have their own labs and aren't that interested in the matter. I believe that if the astrologist you mentioned can break the seal, the owner of that house wouldn't mind if she stayed there. All right. Then allow me to tell you where the house is. Okay. Oh, there it is. Oh, <laughs> why am I climbing up a wall? The person who placed this seal is by no means simple. Breaking this seal by force is nigh on impossible. Interesting. I suppose it's worth using my astrology on. Let me see. Mm, I see. So, if you first... And then you. I wonder if we'll be able to go inside. I think that would be cool. All right, it's open. Holy moly, that's amazing! Now we just need to go back to Cat. No need, no need. You have my utmost thanks. Okay. You are. Oh, I'm Goth, the owner of this house. I passed by the Adventurers Guild a while back, and Catherine told me about the matter. I never thought this troublesome seal would be dispelled so quickly. <laughs> Does that mean I can stay here? Of course, of course. The facilities inside were just being left there anyway. I would be glad to have someone make use of them. To express my thanks, I shall rent this building to you at the lowest possible price. Ah, so she still has to pay. I didn't hear anything about rent, and I helped out too. Uh, oh, well, yes, of course, I understand. I am most thankful to you for that. So rest assured that I will give you the best rates. Goodness I, gracious. I mean, Paimon thinks Mona's misunderstood something, but... <sighs> I guess I don't have any other choice. I yeah, get to renting, Mona. Get to being a, um, respectable part of our economy. Of Mondstadt's economy. <laughs> also, well, I'm very sorry, but I won't be able to do what I agreed to help you with just yet. Without the necessary tools and without new knowledge, it will take me some time to see your destiny clearly. But I promise that I'll do a reading for you first thing once I'm ready. Okay. Thank you. Our traveling together was fate. And of the good kind, I'd say. I wish you both safe travels. <sighs> As for me, 
I need to think of the future as well. How is she gonna make a living if she doesn't use astrology to make money? She's just gonna steal. <laughs> Maybe we should come back and check on her once in a while. It would really be bad if she fainted from hunger and then- Paimon would never have to worry about that, huh? Is that it for that quest? Okay, cool. And then the next one, once I reach AR-40, I can do all of these. Nice. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. I wish you all the best. Have a great day. Bye.